Uh, I'm gonna go over a couple tactics here of what I found out that works really good. You know, down here in Florida, punching is a staple, you know. Uh, I've been doing this a long time. I done, you know, worked out the bugs, you know, pros and cons, you know. You can do this cross country, you know, you can, it works a lot of other places that down, other than down here in Florida. I'm gonna go over a little setup here. I run a high gear ratio, you know, eight to one reel, you know, gather up a lot of line real quick. And then my rod I like to use is a heavy, light rod, you know, eight foot extra heavy. Enough, you know, backbone, you can just rip them right out of that mat. You know, you don't want to, you know, too little limber of a rod. And then I got spooled up with 65 pound braid. I don't like to go any lower than that because, you know, you, you don't know what's in that mat. It could be a stick, you know, stumps. Depends on what mats you're fishing. Like up, up north, you could be fishing, you know, a lot of sticks or the lay downs that are all bunched up in a corner. So <clears throat> 65 pounds, you know, perfect. So then I like to run Depends on what size bait you use, but I like what I'm using here, you know, these couple different baits. I like to run a four aught or a three aught, you know, straight shank, you know, hook, you know, make sure it's heavy cover so you don't want to bend them out when you've got them all in the mat. It's all bunched up and you've got to go to them and you can't pull them out. Put a lot of strain on them, you don't really realize it. So make sure it's a extra heavy or heavy duty. You can obviously see, you know, you can look at your hook selection at the store make sure it's a pretty heavy duty hook. You know, they make flipping hooks that are light wire and then they make the heavy duty. So make sure you, you pick the heavy duty one because you don't want to get your feelings hurt because they will straighten out in these mats. So another key thing is make sure your hook has, you know, a welded eye or a molded eye so your line don't get caught down there with this, you know, braided line. I know it's 65 pounds, but I've had a lot of heartbreaks when it gets caught in there and you pull on and it just cuts it like that so make sure your your hook has a welded eye and the weight size varies on what how thick the mats are so this one right here is a ounce and a quarter and i like to either if it's a real thick mat run two ounce and then and if it's a really sparse mat you can get through there a lot easier lighter the weight better and i'd like to throw this little flipping bead on and i put that bead on there you know because it does a little clacking noise which you can hear that it's a confidence builder for me and i think it does honestly make a difference okay. especially when you get in really dark water you know they can find it a lot quicker so before i go with my bait selection with you a little tip here i like to color my line you know this 65 pound you know it's nice and dark but it seems like i don't know if it's a confidence thing but underneath these dark mats it just helps out it seems like i don't know if like i said it's a confidence deal but i just keep on doing it it helps you know, just color a couple feet of that line, darken it up, and then you're ready to go. When it comes to your bait selection with punching, what I like to look for with punching mats is more of a slender, you know, profile. You can use any type of crawl out there, whatever your favorite one is, just that's what I look for. It's just go through the mat easily. And if you want to change things up, you know, look for your tail action, you know, more of a subtle kick, you know, your dead presentation and then more of your aggressive presentation when you know you got your rapid kicking tails. You know, you got those, you know, there's all different types of companies out here. You know, there's two different tails I like to use, you know, like I said, rapid and dead. And these two right here have more of a aggressive action tail on them, which you can see right there. You know, the cupped little curl tails, you know, obviously these things are gonna go crazy when they're traveling through the water column. They're going to go up and down and just kick like crazy. And that's more of an aggressive style you look for. And when you're looking for a dead action, I like to, you know, something like this right here is what you look for. You know, when the tails don't really have a bunch of cup in them, you know, they're just straight legged. You know, these tails right here on both these, these are more of a subtle dead action on the tail part. And that's what you look for. I start off with a, uh, a subtle action first a lot of times, you know, when it's high pressure, cold, I know the fish ain't really active. And then if I'm not really getting any bites, I will switch up to the more aggressive, you know, paddle tailed type of uh, creature bait. And then I just, you know, switch it off. And, and, you know, if I start getting bites on one more than the other, then I just stick with it throughout the day. Those are the things I like to, you know, look for when I'm punching and trying to select a bait, you know. So I've got this uh, invader here, so I'm gonna rig this thing up and I'll show you one more thing I do before I go punching. Um, and it saves a lot of time and headache, you know, just something a little extra and not a lot of people do it. And it's messy, but as long as you get your wind right, don't let it blow back in your face. But what I do is I take some type of uh, either garlic, crawfish, you know, any type of spray, 
something that'll slick the bait up. Cause you know, these rubber baits, all these plastic baits have a little bit of grip. You go patching it in the highest ends or something, it'll stop it, you know, it's like put the brakes on it. So I just, you know, coat it down with some slick and then it'll, you know, slide right in and out. And you might have to do it, you know, every 20 flips or something, but it does help a lot. You know, it's just something I do and it works for me. And that's my setup when, you know, when I'm punching heavy cover like this and that's the deal.